All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're just, uh, chilling. About to report back to Ranvi about our, um, our progress. Eivor, out the gate? Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? Elfgar is now Elderman of Lincolnshire. I believe he will be a good friend to our clan. Good. I hope he is a man we can trust. I do too, but I think, uh... I think he's grateful enough to us. Alright, we've got some more raw material, so let's actually... Oh, we've got a letter. From Acha. Dear Eivor, the wolf kissed of Ravensthorpe, I confess further that I have, uh, I confess further to have great sin and guilt, I feel, for having betrayed Hunwald and Swanborough, the Elmercy is stable now, however, my heart is not, I regret my actions, however subtle they, uh, they enable Herenf Herifrith, uh, to spill blood, okay, she's, she's, uh, she's apologizing. And they should be here soon to to come live with the with the clan. So let's see if we can find and build their house. I think we have enough material for it. I yeah, need your eyes, my friend. Right there. Oh, and they've got a tent set up. There you two are. Dear. Look, it's Avon. Oh, Jesus. Uh. What the? What? Where'd it go? Okay, that was weird. Hunwald, Swanborough. Good oh to my see God. the both of you. And you, Avon. Ah, oh, it is good to see this place again after so much time away. I find such an easy joy here. And to think we will be living here, I am <laughs> overjoyed. That joy will last right up until your first blood sacrifice. <laughs> my first what? Later, my friend. Come and enjoy your stay. All right, where'd that deer go? Is that it? No. Wait, is that it? That might be it. It was not. It was, that's a doe. We'll kill enough of its family to get some payback. Right, I don't see any other bucks around, so let's build this house. There you go. You know, I wonder if I have enough materials to upgrade some of the farms. Uh, this is a farm. Wait, is it? No, this is not one. This is the cartographer, right? Oh, no, this is the cattle farm. Let's just upgrade each of them as we go along. Correct. Okay, don't have enough now. All right, Ranvi. Time to plan our next uh, alliance.
Come to me. It's strangely dark in here. It's never been this dark. I right. want to see the Alliance map. So, what do we have next? Essex gets a silver. Um, Jorvik, silver, supplies. So might as well hit Essex next. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Okay. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. Okay, let's do it. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. All right. Let's get it done. An alliance with one of uh, Alfred's thanes would be pretty damn profitable to, uh, you know, just invading. Because <laughs> that's ultimately what we plan to do. Alright, so where are we going exactly? Down here. Do we have any fast travel points in Essex? No, we do not. But we do have one in London. Or actually, is there something close to that? No. Oh, yes, it's about equidistant. And let's just let's just do this, and then we can raid to that monastery and then push inland. Okay, and on to the ship. Eivor, lakkum skiviking. To the. And is this the correct way? Yes. Oh, oh, we don't even need to. No, I don't need Oh god. Oh god. It's a little close. Getting a little close. Raise the Can't raise the sail here. Jesus, it's foggy as hell. Sail! Pass the wind! Right, how far is this from us? 1200? Save it for later. A bandit camp. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Stories must wait. Sing, my ravens. Okay, we're getting slowly closer. Let's hear a story. We need an epic tale. A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned, or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi. To improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I cut a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell, and we slew no game. That night, around well, the fire, shame. I was sullen. Hush now. Sorry, Bragi, but you're gonna have to save it. <laughs> Beat the raven this day. Oh. Make them bleed and take their horse. 
<laughs> ah, yes. I never get tired of these, man. Wait, who saw me? Oh. Ah. Get round the side. Off with his head. Keep pushing. Got a little game there, too. Actually, can I throw a sword? Yeet! That missed. There we go. That didn't. Oh, shit. Come here. I'm gonna skin your ass. Is it dead? Good. Let's actually get to the raiding part. Ooh, grain storage. And let me just do this. Anything in here? No, but it's on fire. Just executing nothing there. No shame in being patient. Arbalist somewhere. Jesus. In we go. Hey, come here. Oh, Jesus. All right. Come on. Give me a hand over here. Give me this. Give me this. Two of you are in the way. Come, help me with this. Come die I see what you need. None of that. Help me with this. Give me a hand over here. Hit 
There we go. Back here now. Really? Oh, no. Both dead. And we push out to get the rest of the materials. Ooh. Hello, sir. Can stop <laughs> God, I love this. Take this. Die. Really, they're hiding in there? The hut's on fire. Or no, maybe it's behind you. And we're gonna do just a little trick shot, just a second. Just for that. That's that's how that works. There you go. Jesus Christ! Hey, can't do this alone. Somebody help me open this. One more. Just push a little. Oh shit! Burst into flames again. Last barrel is up there. I split you. Oh. 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 Get up. My thanks. Give me a hand. Come on, Virna. There you go, girl. Okay. All right. We're done here. Quit this place. Hmm. Where's my where there you are? <sighs> okay, so let's grab this. Let's push deeper into Essex. Another one. Yeah. Heading towards the monastery. <gasps> hold on, hold on, inventory. I have an idea, and this usually works. Yeah. <laughs> 
Frisia, we honor your type, Pagan. We strive as you strive to achieve the perfection of the Ancient Ones. Pagan? To be Pagan is perfect. I mean... In order to achieve that, all you gotta do is stop worshipping Christianity? to shield an axe. Probably gonna come back and charge at me or something at some point. It probably killed its cousin back at Raven's Thorpe. All we want is to share our music with the world. Devote yourselves to godly activities. You stump us. Why the wailing? We are a band of bards, ahead of our time. Musical prodigies, even. Right. But that madman, the self-proclaimed Bishop of the Ruins, is our biggest critic. He calls our playing the Devil's Bagpipes. That strange instrument, made of bladder and bone. It does wheeze like an old woman. He drives away our audience with his doom knelling. All we want is to bring a little joy to this jilted generation. A worthy aim. Maybe he needs convincing of your talents. You would volunteer? Ah, oh, you are a lover of fine music. This is surely an omen. Okay. You, let's talk. Why not let the boy play music? He brings pleasure to the people. Music is the devil's wind breaking. Foul and rancid. I, as the Bishop of the Ruins, will not stand for it. Bishop of the Ruins? Is this title Alfred given? It is God given. He spoke to me as I stood one night pissing against the stones. <laughs> I am his instrument to stamp out the devil's tune. Then you and I must disagree. I had no idea we were doing a fist fight. Punch the praise. Clout the praise. I think you're done. You have done us a great service. I will compose this day into song. Farewell. May you continue to make merry harmonies. Smack my bishop! Smack my bishop! <sighs> okay, he's a bad singer. But music is not the devil's wind breaking. It's just music. We've been making music almost as long as we've been alive. Or around. Ah! 
God damn it. Pick it up. We go. Let's uh, set another waypoint for along the way. Anybody have any food? No. Right, let's get down here and take the road. Damn it. Off we go. Soldiers patrolling. Should probably try to stay away from them. Oh, I set a waypoint on the on the uh Location marker, damn it. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Oh, texture's coming in. Look at that. Okay, so I definitely want to get um, to that one spot get this waypoint before we do anything all right, so all right so it's ju it's just beyond that so we should be good to go not run into any uh unfortunate mission triggers it's london <laughs> Start getting on up high. And then I started blasting. Hmm. I like how the notes just signed crazy bastard. Is ruled by bandits or something? <laughs> yeah, looks like it might be. Am I stuck? Oh my god. No, no. <laughs> oh god, I'm stuck. No. There we go. 
Holy hell. Oh, it even sets your shield alight. That's sweet. That's awesome. Didn't mean to do it, but, uh... That's cool. Get, there we go, and there's the actual lesson scared us in. in the stone. Go, my eyes. All right, we should just be free and clear to walk up. It seems Elderman Beerston has made this ruin his longhouse. Yeah, it, clearly. Do need some more arrows. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn <laughs> beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his... Lord. Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for beer stand, the elderman of this shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. What do you mean by usual his fashion there, is sir? His run as his lands. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. Jesus. My sweater is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. All right, now I figure, I figure I know what's going to what's gonna kind of happen here. With a fine nose We're going to put her on the old men's road. does not return soon. Wine will not be the oak. You! Gods will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. Okay, so I thought I detected a different accent. Beverly of Broken Hearts. Okay. If be yeah. the hell's about to go on Patience here. Patience is a godly virtue, Adrid. We've only met two Franks in the game so far, and one of them's been a murderer, and the other one is her, so let's see how she turns out. Oh, yeah, 500 meters. Pretty far down. Let's actually hit, uh these two, since we're, uh, in the area. Oh. <laughs> I can't go through there. That's a shame. Here 
Alright, where is it? Right here? Lovely. In and out. A few seconds. So, we're going this way. And it'll take us out of the town. Down below. I do not know how to go about getting that. Can I climb over? Thank you. It must be under underground tunnels. Where there you are, boy. Oh, there's a tunnel right there. Doesn't matter, we're already outside, so let's go. Let's see what this alderman is up to. Forest? Is that how you say that? Yeah, I assumed it would Soon be the test. Guide me. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Yeah, blood, uh, ransacked, somebody's dead. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Bear, probably. They were caught off guard as they supped. Jesus. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. Show me. Let's see, what's up? I think I saw the animal's corpse there, or maybe this is... Beeston! Oh, Ready shit. your weapon, or accept your fate as a beast or theirs. You have savaged enough men today, beast! It's the blood horses! Yeah, I'm a little too quick for you, bear. Well fought, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. Have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. Oof. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. 
Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? Yeah. I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes say. narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about your Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hobbles of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. You probably I should ponder it. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I mean, interference is just disapproval with actions. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. All right, let's see what we can do for this man. Nice. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. When the months are coldest, the mistletoe is full grown, cloaked in her winter strength. Meaning that we should weather this? Stay strong? Yes, that's it. Not bend in the wind like stalks of wheat. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse and contribute coin to the festival. Yes! You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Refuse to send your men. Let Alfred's people die for his hopeless cause against the Norse. Then we refuse. Refuse our king? Has madness taken your wits, Beeston? There. Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beeston. Useless. Useless. That's right. 
Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. Oh, hey, Portal, how that you doing? That they're prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Birsten. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Birsten. Are you not worried some other man will drench her sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover... Jeez, man. Just grow up. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I noticed your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate, it's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Does your god not allow husbands and wives to part? Our god? Our king? There is much standing in the way of a joyous uncoupling. Ours was an arranged marriage, a political need, and not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Evo. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first? Oh, Lord. Or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Man wants to get back together with somebody he hasn't seen in 20 years and expects it to work out. Like, she could be married by now. She could be dead. You fool. Attend to your province, bang your Frankish wife, and just be done with it. Oh, my God. Okay. More shenanigans. Shenanigans all over the place. Um, 
On bead! Wait, that's it. There we go. Wait, where is it? Ah! There we go. What next? Okay, so we've got one here in the market, and the other is down here. Let's actually do that first. Is there a port nearby? No, there isn't. Not that I've gotten. That's a damn shame. Okay, we'll see. Uh, we could just sail up from here, but I really don't want to do that. We'll just travel down. Where, where are we right now? We're there. Okay, so when we return in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're going to um, try to fix this whole romance situation. <laughs> This is going to be a shit show. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll be back in a moment.